And this is the co-feature on that same card. It's another British uh, heavyweight, the once beaten but rising uh, fighter and now WBA secondary title holder, Daniel Dynamite, Dynamite Dubois. Dubois fighting a South African, Kevin Lorena, in the co-feature bout with his secondary WBA title on the line in a 12-round bout. Dubois, an overwhelming knockout favorite, as we see right there on the prop. The over-under, only four and a half rounds here. That's a little tantalizing, Dan Rayfield. Tell me more about Dubois, who, again, is very popular in England, and they're maybe trying to groom him for down the road and a bigger uh, moment and a bigger title shot. Thoughts here, Dan, on this matchup? He won his title uh, a number of months ago, and this is his first defense of that second-tier title. But they did not match him with a complete stiff or anything like that. I'm not saying that Kevin Lorena should be favored or Kevin Lorena will win the fight. But they did not match him with a fighter that is not competent and capable. He is a, uh, like you mentioned, he's first of all, he's from South Africa, so he's making the trip to the U.K. to fight on Dubois' home turf. But he's a southpaw. He's also 28 wins and one loss. The one loss was many years ago in a decision. He is a natural cruiserweight who has now only been in the heavyweight division for his most recent three fights. But he's beaten like okay guys in those three fights, including a former world title challenger, Marius Wach. Uh, so they didn't match him super soft. It's actually a little bit of a steadier, sturdier test than I thought they would give him in this spot here. Um, so I, I like uh, Dubois to win the fight. You know, he's a tremendous puncher. He's a good boxer. He's got good hand speed. He's only been the distance one time. Uh, you know, his one loss was a knockout to Joe Joyce, who is now a top, you know, three or four or five heavyweight in the in the sport. But but this is a fight that Dubois should win. But I don't think this fight is a four and a half under fight at all. I think that Kevin Lorena is very competent and can absolutely hang in there. Uh, you know, how long? I'm not sure. But I think four and a half rounds, you know, you give me the over on that. I mean, I know, uh, uh, you know, anything can happen, as we always talk about, especially when you're a big puncher like Dubois is. But they picked a, a very competent, solid opponent for him to face in this fight. And uh, I don't think it's the absolute walkover that the, uh, the numbers might suggest. Pardon me on that. British media is talking about and why not, that it should be a Dubois easy victory. That's, that's one of their guys here. It's a showcase fight. And again, Lorena has primaris, primarily fought in South Africa. How much of a difference will that make? Will the moment be big where he walks out in the cold temperatures? And there's 60,000 people there, you know, waiting for the Fury fight to ramp up. We will find out. So let's go on the record right now. Let's see what we both think about this. We are in agreement on a Dubois victory. So let's take a look at that. Dubois, both of us say by KO. I'm not as frisky on, on the win, the W-H-E-N, as you are. You're going to take the over. I just want the anytime KO. We're both having to lay something here on this. So, again, if you double up with the overplay like what Dan is making, you're going to do better with your money by doubling up both kind of as a parlay there. But I'll take Daniel Dubois with victory. And just real quick here, it's not realistic that Dubois is going to get a shot at Alexander Usyk anytime soon, but this is certainly something later 2023 into 2024 that if he wins this fight, Dubois, and another fight, he's in the picture, correct? Oh, he's in the picture all the, all the way. I mean, it's not absolutely out of the question that the WBA, because they sometimes do beat to their own drummer, there's a good possibility that post this fight that they'll order that fight to take place, that mandatory. And that will put Alexander Usyk in a position where he may, again, may have to do a Dubois fight as a mandatory before we see a Tyson Fury fight. So what you just said is not necessarily the way it will play out. Uh, I think that they'll be able to work it out, that, that they'll be able to go and have the undisputed fight, and Dubois will just, as you said, stay busy, take another fight, do his thing. Um, but Dubois is in a great position because he has that belt. He is a popular figure. His only loss is, like I said, to Joe Joyce, who's one of the best heavyweights in the world. Joe Joyce is in position also to be the mandatory against uh, Usyk for, for the WBO belt because now he has the interim title of the WBO. So one thing is for sure, between Tyson Fury, Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Joshua, the heavyweight division is extremely healthy in, uh, in the UK. And this card is, is part of that. And we'll see what happens if they can make the Fury and Usyk fight. And, and these other fighters are going to be active also, Joyce and, uh, and, uh, and Dubois. And, and the good thing, when it comes to actually push to shove to make these matches, uh, Tyson Fury, Daniel Dubois, and Joe Joyce are all promoted 
by Frank Warren's Queen, Queensberry promotions. So it takes a little bit of the pressure off in terms of the ability to make these fights because of promotional issues. And they're also all fighting on the same broadcaster, which is BT Sport in the UK. So uh, I think heavyweight fight fans have a lot to look forward to, at least out of the, the British side of things in the next few years with these fights. But <laughs> to get all that stuff to go down, uh, Tyson Fury's got to come through on Saturday, as does Daniel Dubois on the undercard. And I'm very confident that both will. All right, good stuff uh, on this. Hey, uh, one more time here for the audience, that, that if you're curious, this is Saturday afternoon, U.S. time. Dan, give them a little of the broadcast information on how they can see it. Oh, sure. Because while it's a pay-per-view in England, you're able to see this differently in the United States. Go ahead. So this card with the heavyweight, uh, with Fury and Dubois doubleheader, as well as some other undercard fights, uh, the card will start 1 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN Plus in the United States. Main event, ring walk, the promoters say approximately 4 p.m. Eastern. All right, good on those. So we get a little day action, and we got another fight to talk about in a moment. I will say this. Compliments to those that are joining us, uh, the peeps in the live uh, chat uh, right now that are behind the scenes. We see some questions and some comments rolling along. We got our buddy, the boxing writer, David Payne. He's on our podcast this week. He's over in the U.K. He's watching us live right now, Dan, at 1 Eastern time. What would that be? 6 p.m. Uh, London time right now. He's watching us on a Friday. So thank you, David Payne, for watching. Also, our buddy, Gail Falkenthal, the PR pro from San Diego. She's watching all the way in the Pacific time zone where it's 10 a.m. So we got an eight-hour disparity between David and Gail watching us live. Well, I'll Thank say, you, Gail, for watching good us. Good evening, David, and good morning, Gail. There you go, on on both. So thank you, peeps. Excellent comments. Gail is propping you up for your Teofimo Lopez interview uh, as well. You can find that on the Big Fight Weekend uh, preview podcast, wherever you get podcasts, Big Fight Weekend preview podcast. Teofimo fighting next week in New York. Dan talked to him at length. Uh, and we'll get into Dan's interview with the next two fighters that we're about to talk about in a few moments. Right now, hit that like button if you've not done it. I see the audience growing and growing, which is good. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share us out. Uh, tell more people about it. We're here Fridays at 1 Eastern time. 1 Eastern time, as I like to say, adjust your time zone accordingly, wherever you, uh, wherever you are uh, on the globe watching us. We love that here on BetUS and the platforms. 